everyone, it's Fantasia. So I decided to do another discussion video about the state of the game right now. I just recently did a video the other day talking about how broken the game is and the bugs that I've been experiencing. And then I told you guys to comment down below things that you're experiencing. So when I saw your guys' comments, I was like, oh my God, I need to talk about this more. So the game is even more broken and buggy than I even thought. Like there are so many more things happening to you guys that I haven't experienced and it's just insane. So I'm gonna be popping up a bunch of comments on the screen in this video. We're gonna talk about everything. I'm not gonna be doing notification shout out in this video because I have so many comments for this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first comment comes from Miss True TY and they said, I took out all mods in CC and I'm still having trouble. I have no doors in city living and my Sims keep aging up out of nowhere. I'm scared to play my game because I don't want my Sims to die. They need to hurry up and finish fixing this shit because this is ridiculous. I completely understand your frustration. And the reason I wanted to put your comment in here is because specifically the aging up glitch. So this is supposed to be fixed and it seems like some people are still dealing with it and that's just crazy. Like comment down below if you're still having the aging up glitch because that was supposed to be completely dealt with by now. So if that's still not even fixed for some of you guys, then I don't know. We're going to need like a huge update just fixing all of this stuff. So the next one comes from MJ Simmer X. I'm having family relationship glitches. Like the mom is no longer a mom to her children. So I actually saw a lot of comments from you guys telling me that you're having a whole bunch of relationship problems with your sims to the point where sims aren't even family members anymore like that's insane to me i haven't experienced that yet and now i'm kind of nervous to experience that this just makes me really nervous to record my let's plays i'll still be posting them you know but like i'm just gonna be really careful you know if i don't post them as often that's why i mean i'm still gonna try to be consistent it's just i don't know it's kind of scary that i could just be recording one of my let's plays and all of a sudden my sims loses their relationships like my sims don't have their parents anymore and then i have to like i don't know it would just be a whole thing so that would really really suck the next one comes from karen and it says here hi i have this problem where your sims needs are low they normally go down from green to yellow to orange to red but in my game the needs don't change the colors and if they do it's a wrong color to the level of importance my sim for real died because of hunger because it was colored green so i didn't think it's because of my mods i had to remove like half of them already because of the high school update if you have the same issue or know how to fix this, please let me know. So this had to be put on here because it actually reminded me that this was happening to my Sim Emelyn in my Runaway Teen Pregnancy Let's Play. I don't know if it was happening when I was filming, but it was happening when I was playing off camera. I have to go back and see if it was happening in the video or not. I think it was her hunger bar. I don't know, but it was staying green even though it was like going down or it might've been her energy bar. I don't know, but it was only happening to her and not my other Sims. So that's kind of weird. And that is definitely going to make it really easy for people to accidentally lose their sims because if you play the sims all the time you kind of just glance over to the needs and you basically just go off the color right because you're doing a bunch of things in your game you might have a lot of sims and you just quickly you know switch through them see if like anything's red or yellow so if it's all green you might not even realize i didn't include that in my video where i was talking about the glitches that i was having because i completely forgot but yeah i've had that too the next comment comes from miss gaston and she said i can't see sim profiles is anyone else having this issue so when you click on like open sim profile, it won't open up because that is a big issue. That would drive me insane. Sim profiles are so important to be able to open up. I feel like there's a lot of information in there. You know, the sentiments are there. You know, just so many things. I hope that gets fixed literally in the next update because that's just, that's not good. So comment down below if you're having that issue because I haven't seen too many people talk about that. The next one comes from Jasmine and it says here, my bust the dust kit isn't working at all since the high school update. The house is just clean and never gets cheap you any other state. I had problems where I try to get my sim to do something and they'll just stand there and the command never drops in queue. It, it stays up and I have to cancel. Sometimes for no reason, they'll just not automatically go to work. So it seems like you're having a whole bunch of different kinds of problems. The bust the dust kit. Interesting. I actually haven't went and checked that because I think for a lot of my let's plays, I know I have the dust off. It might be on in one of them. I should see if mine's doing that. Like if the house is just staying clean, that's weird. And I actually want wonder if the Simgers even know about that one. I don't know how many people are having that issue and oh my god the glitch where you'll tell Sims to do something and they'll just stand there. I feel like that has actually been in the game for a long time but I'm recently seeing more people complain about it again so I don't know if it's more severe now or people who never experienced it are now experiencing it. I don't even know why that's still a thing. Also weird that sometimes your Sims just aren't going to work automatically. So next one comes from Danny B. I can't use the computers at home. I have to go to the library to do terms papers. 
That is so annoying. Dude, I would lose my mind. I have had issues with computers before in the past. I think it was just the city living computer, but I'm pretty sure that computer was busted for a lot of people. Don't know why. I had, I still have no clue why that even happened to just one singular computer. But now, like none of your computers are working. That's crazy. Comment down below if you guys can't use your computer. The next one comes from Macy. In my game, I can't pick color in Create a Sim and I can't even have CC or mods anymore. So I haven't played for a while and it's really frustrating. You can't choose a color in Create a Sim. I actually saw this comment a few times, so I know it's not just you. When I'm telling you, that would drive me insane. I think I would just rage quit the game. That is so beyond frustrating. Like when you're trying to make a Sim and you can't choose the color of things. I also saw someone say that they can't even choose a skin tone, which is absolutely ridiculous. And the fact that you don't even have mods or CC, so that's truly a game problem. I mean, guys, like a lot of these issues are just in the game because so many people have tried taking their mods out. I feel like a lot of times that's one of the first things you test you know if something's not working take your mods folder out and then go back and see if it's still happening because that way you know right off the bat so the next one comes from jade and it says here i've been having a bug with the calendar and high school years events it only affects things that came with high school years but prom will change days and randomly be on a wednesday rather than a saturday same with career day and stuff it'll say on the calendar it's career day but when i go to school it doesn't happen and my sim won't attend class and when i click on the whiteboard it'll just say careers and clicking it does nothing also i'll get the pop-ups for cheerleading and sports day and stuff like 10 p.m on a random night i thought it was mods at first then i did a fresh save with no mods and the same thing happened also one i've had for a while is sims performance bar slowly going Going down while they're at work even if I tell them to work hard oh whoa okay that's weird the last one but more importantly your big issue with high school years I don't think I've experienced that either however I think I've seen things like jumping around on the calendar where like something will be one day and then all of a sudden it will change and I'm like huh I don't know why like high school years was released with so 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 many bugs you know it wasn't as much of a disaster as uh, the wedding stories pack but still high school years definitely released with a lot of problems and I hope that gets fixed because honestly that's very confusing for like you to be not even knowing when things are happening basically because it's like telling you it's happening but then it's not like huh so this next one comes from Kawaii Whims and this is five different issues here so as far as issues go that I've had the Groundhog Day save glitch sims leaving a work slash school if I use another sim to travel if I follow a sim to school the other sim in the household won't go to work number three door slash wall decorations not auto disappearing with the walls half up number four sims just resetting themselves during a task and number five dine out being fully broken at this point sims never get their food i've experienced some of these things like dine out okay so now dine out is working in some of my saves or like it just chooses to work when it wants to and then other times it doesn't like i remember recently i had a whole dinner disaster sims never got their food we were waiting 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 then the last time i used it in my runaway teen pregnancy then they got their food and it was pretty fast so i don't know what's going on there i know dine out has always been a mess but the fact that it's still not fixed to this day when did dine out come out like what i don't know how it's still busted i what like i'm waiting for a dine out refresh but then I'm also like, will it even fix the issues that we've been experiencing? Because how come they're not already fixed then? Also the whole like thing where if you follow a sim to school, the other sim in the household won't go to work. That's really annoying because then your sim is like losing performance and it's not even your fault. Okay. So the next one comes from, I think it's Sioni. I don't know if that's how you say it though. So I apologize if it's not. This one I had to include. So it says here, an adult sim just asked my toddler to be his boyfriend. What? Okay. So I know there's been glitches before where like weird things are happening with relationships with like underage sims and like apparently was fixed i don't even remember exactly what happened but i know there was an issue and so it seems like there's things happening again that's quite alarming to be honest i don't know why glitches like that would be happening like what is going on sims of that age are not even programmed like to do like i don't get it it's a like what an adult and a toddler i don't even understand how that glitch happens to be honest with you guys because there there shouldn't be any program programming there for like an adult and toddler to be romantic like huh that's 
insane. That, no, that better not happen in my game because I will like lose my mind. And that's just not okay. That That's one of those glitches. I'm just like, how, how? So this next one comes from GE and it says here, every time I had lag on my PS4 Pro, I'd have to pause the game and wait. It was like the game had to catch up. Also, the curved walls are still broken. I was so excited to finally get curved walls and they don't even work right. I haven't played the game in about two months just to avoid all the problems. I'm not playing again until they fix the game. I don't blame you. And I haven't really played around with curved walls, but I do know that so many people are having issues with them. And I, again, why release something that people are so excited for if it's going to be broken and it's still not fixed? Like curved walls, I mean, they're new still, but they've been around for like a decent amount of time where you would think there would have been an update to fix them. I don't know, guys. That's just like, that's a feature that so many people were so hyped for. If curved walls are working in your game, definitely comment down below. I haven't really been watching builds lately either, so I haven't really like seen anyone use them. I should definitely watch some builds to see if any other people are using them and having success and you know they're actually functioning how they should. So this one comes from Faith and it says I can't even press on a sim in my household or in any other worlds. You can't even press on your sim? Wow. I haven't experienced that at all. If you can't even press on your sim, then that means you can't even play at all. Like you can't do anything. I did not know that one was happening. And then this one comes from Evelyn. My game is so messed up that the days and nights are switched. They'll cook dinner at 6 a.m. and cook breakfast at 6 p.m. Also not to mention they are randomly having sick days instead of going to school slash work. I haven't heard about this one either. Like there's so many issues. I'm sure there's even more. I was going through my comments for quite some time and just screenshotting a whole bunch of them that some that I've never heard of before and then some that I just haven't experienced. Like imagine trying to just play a normal sim day and your sims are randomly taking sick days when they should be at work and you know the days all switch backwards. So this last one here comes from Kylie. Oh thank you so much to the first part of your comment. You're so sweet. I appreciate you. So every time I go into create a sim my sim game always restarts on Sunday and I lose all my relationship and job. I'm so frustrated at this point. This recently just started happening is aggravating for sure. Okay, this one scares the hell out of me because I'm having the time jumping backwards, but only by like a few hours. You're saying your whole game is restarting to Sunday every time you go into create a sim? That, no. And then your sims just lose their job. Like, so are they losing any progress that they've made? No. But guys, this is the most broken I've ever seen The Sims 4. I can't believe it. It makes me so sad. I know we've dealt with glitches before. Like we're so used to that. It's been happening for years now, but like never to this point, we've never had it be so broken where people, more and more people, just can't even touch their game. They're just done. Like the game they love so much. The Sims is an escape for so many people. And that's why this is so sad. There's no game like The Sims. Not yet anyways. But as of right now, there's no game like exactly like The Sims. When I say exactly like The Sims, I'm talking about like a life simulation where you can control all the characters and you basically live out life. Yeah, there's other like life simulation games, but they're different. They're usually like, I don't know, they have quests you can do. They're just a different kind of play style than The Sims. Nothing is just quite like it. And the fact that so many people can't play just makes me sad. So if you're someone who literally can't play your game, well, I highly recommend playing The Sims 2. If you can get your hands on it, play it. So a lot of people have it on Origin if they already had The Sims 2 before, and then they were basically able to get The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection to keep forever on their origin, but it's not on origin anymore, which is really annoying because that would be really great. But there is other ways you can still get it. You know, you can search Amazon, eBay. I don't know where else, but there is other places you can buy The Sims 2. There's also like The Sims 2 spinoff games if you're not really wanting to dive into like a whole new, you're to say you're too attached to your Sims and you don't want to make all these new Sims in a different Sims game. There is like The Sims life stories, pet stories, castaway stories. They're all like Sims 2 spinoff games. They have The Sims 2 craft but it's kind of more story based. Yeah, you're just like going through a story, but it's really, really fun. And X Urban Sims X actually has like a whole video on how you can play those right now for free. So definitely go check that out if you're just really craving to just play something that's like The Sims and the, the life stories and all that, like all the story ones are definitely an escape for sure. You definitely get pulled into the story. So that's really nice. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. Hopefully I don't gotta do another one, but I might, you might see another video of me talking 
talking about stuff if this stuff is not fixed within like the next two weeks or so. Let's cross our fingers for real. Also, please, 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 if you're still able to play your game, but you're experiencing tons of glitches, please back up your saves. Like honestly, every time you play, I would say, because there is some glitches happening that, are, that could ruin your progress. So I would definitely recommend just, you know, copy and pasting your saves folder to your desktop every single week, you know, just replace it. I need to start doing that more. Speaking of, I'll probably do it right now after this video just to be safe. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. The night.